this is Megan, one of the naturalists, again from Beaver Creek Reserve, joining you for another Butterfly House Tours. Today we have a giant video for you. Well, the video isn't actually that big, but today we're going to be talking about the giant of our butterfly house here. So let's learn more. The star of this week's show is the giant swallowtail. This is actually the largest butterfly here in Wisconsin. So on this week's episode, I'm going to show you a little bit about the giant swallowtail and we're going to talk about each stage of its life cycle, we're going to talk about its habitat and diet, and we're also going to talk about some other really cool facts about this awesome butterfly. So giant swallowtails get their name, well, because of their enormous size. Typically their wingspan is over 5 inches from wingtip to wingtip, so basically from here to here. And so that's the distance from my thumb to my pinky. So they are mostly black with yellow lines running across from their front to their hind wings as you can see on this picture right here and that's just a way that helps us identify but an easier way is actually they have an X on their back kind of towards the top of their abdomen. So giant swallowtails are often mistaken for tiger swallowtails especially when they're in flight. They just both look like yellow butterflies. Well they actually have some notable differences between the two especially in the size. So our tiger swallowtails and our giant swallowtails, when their wings are opened up, you can definitely see the differences between the two. Our tiger swallowtail right over here is, has way more yellow on it compared to our giant swallowtail, which is mostly black. So now before our giant swallowtails take their recognizable adult form, well they need to go through other stages in life like all other butterflies do. So let's take a look around our butterfly house to see if we can find any eggs, caterpillars, or chrysalises. While other butterflies such as monarchs or black swallowtails lay eggs that are about cream or white colored, well our giant swallowtails actually lay eggs that are caramel colored. So it kind of makes you hungry for ice cream when you see them. Giant swallowtails actually lay their eggs on top of prickly ash leaves and their eggs hang out for about 4 to 10 days before they hatch. So here is our giant swallowtails host plant. It's prickly ash. So a way that helps us identify prickly ash is if you look close on its branches, it's got thorns on it. Oh, we have a chrysalis, but this isn't a giant swallowtail chrysalis. I want you to think about which one it is. So here we actually have a giant swallowtail egg. So let's take a closer look. You can definitely see the caramel color to it when you look a little bit closer. And actually right next to this egg, we have a giant swallowtail caterpillar punching away on some prickly ash leaves. So when we take a closer look at these caterpillars, well, what do they remind you of? Well, they remind me of bird droppings. So, now why would a caterpillar want to look like bird poop? Well, that brings us to our first defense mechanism of our giant swallowtails. While other caterpillars use camouflage to blend into their surroundings, this caterpillar uses a different way to protect themselves by looking like something animals don't really want to eat. Remember from our previous video about the black swallowtails and we showed you the osmeterium? Well, giant swallowtails have them too, so let's check it out. As you can see here, I'm pretending to be a predator, and this little guy is trying to fend me off with a good dose of stinky sock smell. Now before these caterpillars move on to their next stage, they have to reach the size of my pinky, and since they start out so small, it takes about three to four weeks of steady munching on these prickly ash leaves. So of course, just like all butterflies, they go through a pupa stage. So our giant swallowtail actually is very similar to our black swallowtail. So in my hand, I have a black swallowtail chrysalis, our giant swallowtail looks very similar to this, it's just a little bit bigger. And this stage lasts for about 10 to 14 days before they come out as a fabulous butterfly. So in the past, giant swallowtails weren't really found around here because our weather is a little too cold for them. But now in recent years, our climate is warming up, and so that means we're seeing more and more of these giant swallowtails in our neck of the woods. The best places to find these giant swallowtails are in woodlands or along forest edges. So thanks for watching this awesome video about giant swallowtails. Now next week is actually going to be our very last episode for the summer because our butterfly house closes on September 1st. So if you want to get out here and visit us, now is the time. See you later. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director from Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. To find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org. You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. We appreciate your time.